things. Whoever just uh, gave Mr. Nygaard the uh, thanks to uh, plug that plug that button in there. Disregard everything we said in pregame because you didn't hear it apparently. Right. Which is weird because I can see the issue is typically on the screen and I, I can see that everything looked good but the audio was not coming into my board and so now the audio is coming in my board so if you're just joining us welcome to Baldwinville High School at Kingfield for a middle border conference battle between the Hawks and the Panthers we've done uh, hold on I guess I feel like it will be better once once the uh, delay catches up. So, um, Hawks Panthers, we have little kids football tonight. We have mini cheerleaders. We have band. We have all sorts of stuff. Senior night, parent night. Do we have a halftime penalty again? I really hope not. I really hope there's no halftime penalty. Good. We're we're on now, okay. so we're we're good. But uh, big game here between the Panthers and the Blackhawks. Always a good rivalry. The year that the Panthers won the state title, their one loss came to the to the Blackhawks at homecoming. Uh, you know, regardless of how these teams fare, uh, it's it's always going to be a good game. I think back to probably I think it was 2011. St. Croix Central goes in as, as the one seed. The Hawks struggled, backed into the playoffs as the eight seed, and was able to give Central everything they had and it seems like regardless of the of the season these two teams are going to play a really really highly contested close football game. Yeah and that being said it's two very talented teams. I mean that's, that's you got a lot of talent on the field out there and, and close close game. I mean Hammond's three miles away you gotta love that rivalry and all the sports seem to seem to feed off that. Gonna probably have a good crowd tonight I would imagine. It looks like the Blackhawks section is pretty full, even though they got a bunch of parents out with the youth, and stands are full, standing room. So I imagine Central will fill up as the day goes on. Yeah, the uh, the estimate estimation that I heard was that they expected 3,000 fans tonight for this game. That's a good crowd. And I'm guessing the weather could maybe change those numbers a little bit. Yeah, if it was the same as last week, I'd imagine that would be a little higher, but maybe that just means more people are back listening to you. Yeah, Good evening, everyone. And, and we have two live streams tonight. Obviously, we have our live stream, and, and Brian and his crew have the central live stream, so we can be a little more homerish, I think, because the central people will be less than the central, so if it's a bad call, we can just say it's a bad call, even if it's not. Why we got to pick on the refs right away? Well, that, you know, I don't, but I thought tonight, a bad call. tonight I might have to. <laughs> you, you told me off air that this we had a terrible crew. No, I'm just playing. I did. I'm playing. I did. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'll, I'll tell him that in the card later, too. <laughs> If you, if you joined us late or you're just hearing us for the first time, it's very, very windy on the top of the press box. I think down on the on the field it's a little less windy, but it's it's a factor up here for us. If you if you hear it going through our mic, that's something that I can't control. We're just going to try to shield the wind with our body, but there's, there's a lot of wind moving through here. And the, the problem with that, the, where the wind is coming from, is coming from our left or right here on the screen, and, and that's kind of more open that way. So it's not like it's, if it's at our back, we got the stands and stuff to block it, but I think the ball will will be affected even though it is down there. But yeah, the punts that get up in the air definitely will be affected. Right, and you see probably more squib kicks. Um, I'm convinced that Cal's probably like, I'll just throw it harder if it's windy. <laughs> He's gonna. He's just gonna throw the fastball. We're gonna get a national anthem here now, so uh, we'll quiet down. We'll keep our mics on, and you'll you can hear the anthem.
it's also cold, hard to play instruments in the cold, too. Is, I've never played an instrument in my life, Nick. I, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I can tell by you know, the way you sing in the car rides. Yeah. But, yeah, playing that, that blowing on that metal, uh, metal trumpet oh, yeah, trombone, that, I mean, that's, that's not comfortable, I'm sure. No, right. well, nice job by that Baldwin Woodville band, as always. Coin toss wise, I, I caught it as a walk up. I believe the Blackhawks won. I have no idea. I, I believe the Blackhawks won and deferred. I would be willing to bet they'd be kicking left to right then. So, um, don't quote me on that one, but too late. Is Sullivan a senior this year? Yes. I believe so. I'll pull, I'll pull my program out as soon as I get a chance to not pull away. I have a whole bunch of crumpled papers. I don't really know what's happening anymore. Trying to get the feet on so to make sure that my volume's off. Yeah, you do tend to uh, turn your volume on and. Yeah, I can hear it. I got turned. Oh my gosh, I need those. Good catch. No sponsors this week. I got lost. We just about lost our uh, our ad cards. I figured if I kept everything in my hand, then I wouldn't lose things. We, you must play for the Vikings, you fumble a lot. Yeah. I mean, typically if there's... My program. If there's things setting on our papers up here, they don't blow away, but we've had clipboards blow, we've had... Pretty much everything blow away. Do you not have your programs? I could maybe dig mine out of my pockets. Here, how about... Got, got it? it. Okay. Got it. Almost lost. <laughs> we should have a camera on us. It's me. It's you know, if you're into comedy, that's it's too comical really. there. We will get we will get things situated. First, no mics. Now, uh, trying to get into football, football weather gear. I'm just really hoping the rain holds off because if it starts to rain, I don't know what might happen. I might just cry. Did I tell you I might have to, a meeting to get to tonight? You have a what? A meeting I might have to get to? Oh yeah, what time? I don't, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, I'll put the headset on Carl. If it, if it starts raining, I'll let you know. <laughs> I don't even know if it's rain right now, it might sleep. Well, it, it definitely rained earlier. We got a nice pretty little rainbow after uh, after I dried everything off. So we have the seniors running out to their parents, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's always nice. It's their last regular season home game here, and hopefully not their last home game. Right. Very back up a uh, successful year last year with uh, another one this year. Willing to bet that the winner of this will go on to take the second in the conference. Uh, they do split it. If it's a tie or no? What's that? I thought they, someone said they don't split it. If they, if they were to end up somehow both two losses, they I, technically, I think, technically I think you split it. But ultimately, we all know that the winner of this. Yeah, I think I think that was Ambrose talking about how. They don't recognize. They don't win. Recognize head to heads as a as a tiebreaker, but right. in reality, that is the tiebreaker. Yes. Werner's up here and his he's, he almost he's, fell over. Jeepers! He's gonna lose his spot though. He's gonna go over by St. Croix Central. Over there. He's, it's his spot. Well, I mean, he's uh, universally universally beloved, as I understand it. By who? That's a good question. Himself. All right, thanks for joining us. We uh, are about to get underway here as we continue to try to get situated. If we lose service, as always, if we lose the, the camera, just be patient with us. We'll get back as soon as possible. The, the wind is moving our camera around a little bit, so I'll try to keep that on the screen. and. We'll let Nick tell you what's going on. Is we can see this week at least. Someone asked me, and I ran into someone like, "What was going on in the press box?" I'm like, so I pulled up the, the picture you someone sent. You know, yeah. and I, I said, "See that little window right there? That's what four of us were looking yeah. through." So we had Carl and Zach in front, and so I was kind of standing between them. And Nygaard was, I don't know where Nygaard was. He was trying to 
see he could see it on the right. And if it's in the left, he went over right. by Prescott. I was mostly just trying to stay out of the way of the people that were climbing through the. <laughs> and, and, and then yeah, we had the stairs to the press box right behind us. Yep. So good to be home. Good to be home. Again, a very exciting game last year. Went to overtime. Saw Central scoring a touchdown after a field goal by the Blackhawks. And I believe I was correct when I said the Blackhawks won and deferred. And we'll kick left to right with the wind. And they don't know Gus very well as they're standing on the 10. And this one's going to, I bet you, a dollar as it goes into the end zone. Can we legally bet? Because I'd take it. Okay, does that count? Where's the ball at? We're going to we're gonna call that a push. So when I shoot and I brick it, when it goes in, do I get the points? Yeah, but okay. he he maybe helped that in. There might have, that might have been like an offensive goaltend in, in basketball. When I shoot and you block it? <laughs> oh, wait, you can't block shots. You don't play I don't defense. try to block you shots. You don't play no. defense. I don't want to hurt my fingers. All right, so as, as expected, kickoff goes into the end zone. We'll start talking football now as uh, senior quarterback Caden Wester will lead the uh, Panthers here. You see a lot of tight formation. Western's going to keep, right? Yeah, Western. Um, I believe it's a give nope. in the middle. Yeah, it is a give. So they do run that little scrum. Number f Is it number five? Yes. Five would be Noah Nussbaum, their fullback. Uh, and he's a good player. He's, yeah. He comes in with, I believe, like 560 yards, eight rushing touchdowns, leading rusher, number eight, Fisher. Uh, just shy of 900 with 13 rushing touchdowns. And then uh, Wester adds five more touchdowns, a couple hundred yards on the ground as well. So the Looks ground game, heavy. Unbalanced that appeared. Could be brought down shy. Well, third and three. As that was the aforementioned Sam leading rusher, Fisher, Sam Fisher. So he's number eight? Eight. Brought down third and three. Always got to be what? Weary of that uh, hard count here. Yeah, and we, we succumbed to that multiple times at Prescott. Lack not, of focus not sometimes. Not just Prescott. It's been numerous times, but. I don't know what the music effects are about. That's different. Slot to the right. Newsbaum up the middle, I'm guessing. Oh, quarterback. Nope, quarterback keeps it. Wester's going to have the first down at the 35 yard line before brought Jackson down by Jackson Johansson, the leading tackler for the Blackhawks. And their quarterback, Tackle number six. Yep. Nothing like having three numbers that all look identical. Four, six, and eight. Five, six, and eight. Five, six, and eight. Yeah, four, Sullivan. So four, four, Sullivan, too. Four, five, six, and eight. Great. Yep. yep. And they got a seven in there. You know, when we, when I played in high school way back in the day, we did not have, we had one single digit number. It was number five. And now that's all kids want to wear. I get it. Yeah. Especially now that they allow that in the NFL, so. They didn't used to. Correct. Up the middle. Oh, uh -oh that's loose. a problem. Gonna get brought down from behind. No, a noose bomb Not before carry. almost gaining midfield. Noose bomb. Tackle by Gavin Sell. Good carry there. Just shy of midfield. First and ten. Panthers got two first downs and they're rolling on the ground as we expected, especially into this win. I mean, if you're if you're a defensive quarter, you just gotta dare them to throw the ball right now, do you not? Well, yeah, but. I mean, the, the hard part is you you need to do your jobs up front, and that's the thing that, that Coach Kiefer and I talked about. It's it's going to be three yards, three yards, three yards, three yards, seven yards, three yards, and then all of a sudden you don't do your job and they go bust it off for 51, and yep. that's that's the problem. Up the middle, noose bomb, going to cross midfield, pick up four. No, noose bomb, the ball carrier. Good, good yardage on first down for noose bomb. Second and six Colin for the Panthers. The Opening possession here in Windy. Baldwin. And I think the expectation would be that this would be a high scoring game. The the weather certainly could impact that, but the at the end of the game I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna to say, you know, that was a costly turnover that fill in the blank had. Mm -hmm. And ultimately something as simple as that could could, could change the outcome. Heavily influence the, the outcome of the game. Saw Mr. Hush with three of those last week. Up the middle, noose bomb. He might find the end zone. Nope, he's good caught from behind. I always forget Gavin's always noose chasing from behind, but not before Gavin picking up Gavin almost Gavin. a 25 yard line. Give him over 20 more, about 20. 
First and ten Panthers. Their third first down here on the opening drive. It did receive the opening kickoff. The other thing about that is a is a run dominant team that keeps that clock going now. Baldwin with the wind. Going average. You know, right. You're looking at yep, yep. you know six minutes before getting the ball even. If that. But when they're gashing you for fourteen and twenty yep. and possessions tend to get quicker. First and ten, Panthers. Second man through. It's their leading rusher. Hush gets him by the ankles. Haldorf there to finish him up. Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher. Fisher. But another good gain on first Hayden. down. Haldorf. Yeah, largely untouched until he I mean there was a second level guy. There nobody on the on the defensive line even got a hand on him. And I think that's notable because it's running towards the side with Saar and, and Fritz. Yep. Yep. They're heavy this way. Are they even unbalanced? Are they unbalanced? Oh, absolutely. They, no, yeah. they're, yep. Well, they covered their end. No, they, they cover up the tight end. And the corner Wester's going to find the end zone. St. Croix Central. Wester's going to go in from 24. Central Panthers. Six early. Yeah, so they, they, they go in a... It's not unbalanced. What they do is they cover up their tight end. So they put the tight end to the side. They put a receiver on, cover him. What it does is the tight end cannot go out for a pass. Right. It really just messes with the numbers game when you think of numbers wise. And they'll attempt an uh, extra point kick. Peyton Buckle will attempt a kick. Buckle is the extra point kicker here for Central. Number one. Snap. Spot. That's a good kick. Up. And into the wind, it is good. And 7.33 to go. Central marches 80 yards. And they're on the board first. It's 7 to nothing. I want to thank all of our sponsors here, and I will do that as soon as I can get my paper free. I want to thank us all. Thank you all. Baldwin Greenhouse, Firehelm Langer, Nielsen's Food, St. Croix Garage Doors, Strikers Lanes and Sports Bar, Timberman Realty, Wisconsin Credit Union, St. Croix Custom Apparel, Baldwin Lightstream, CW Garage Door Distribution, Fenner & Jewelers, Schaefer Financial Services, Blackhawk Garage Door, O'Connell Funeral Homes, Precision Truck Service, Precision Excavating Enterprises, A-Star Concrete, Culver's of Baldwin Family, Cairo Care, TMS Auto, Halverson Concrete Solutions, White Cap Financial Advisors, Bates Construction, American Family Insurance, Village Pharmacy, OEM Fabricators, and Western Wisconsin Health. Thank you, Blackhawk TV sponsor. It's still time to sponsor. It's so always time. We got still on sports this year, next year. Jeremy yep. will take it all. Yeah, we have probably 25 winter events between wrestling, wrestling, wrestling and boys and girls basketball. Maybe even more than that. Plus playoffs, plus playoffs here. Volleyball still. Ryan Vinadol and Colton Hush are the deep returners for the Blackhawks. Or maybe a little deep, deep. Kind of a sidewinding kick and it fielded. 25. Ooh, that's a nice hit. That was Noosebaum. You're going to hear James his name on Krapelnicki defense a lot, too, I believe. For the Blackhawks. James Kropelnicki was the guy that... Yeah, Noosebaum made the tackle for the Panthers. Yeah, it was. And following that kick return... So, Blackhawks, Blackhawks will start on their own 27, their first possession. First the nice thing they've, they've done this year, they, they have answered a lot. You know, it seems like when teams have scored on them, they have been able to come down, put together some good drives. Cal's going up the middle. He brought from behind on his first Cal's run. The ball that is Sanders. Brendan Sanders on the tackle. No Brendan gain Sanders for Cal. Leading rusher for the Blackhawks. No gain on the carry. Brings up second and ten from the 27. And we've come out and run, 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 run. A lot lately. See the motion. motion. Moving their, their guys around. Hush will go back in motion again. Oh, little Jackson counter. this way on the counter. He goes nowhere. He's brought down in the backfield. That's 99. Rhett Schweitzer. And so far, I think it's pretty clear that the guys in white have more of a push at the line than the guys in black. Okay, I'll drop back. Looks old middle. Like they might have been draped over a little bit. And there's a penalty in the backfield. Did they hit, did they hit K? 
Cali. I don't know. It looked like it came out during the rush. I see 72 hitting himself. Must, it must be on us that are asking Central, so I'm guessing he's going to decline this no matter what it is. It is a hold. That penalty is declined. It's fourth down, a three and out for the Blackhawks. I feel like we can count the numbers of three and outs we've had this season on one hand. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, not a good time for one there. Not that there ever really is a good time for one, but. There is, I mean, if you're at 42 to nothing. You got you Sullivan three and on the far side of your screen and returning this punt. Not a great snap. Sidewinding punt, a bounce. About the 42 and go out. About the 35-yard line where the Panthers will take over. Up 7 nothing. St. Croix Garage Doors provides Western Wisconsin with top quality garage door sales, service, and installation. We proudly serve Baldwin, Woodville, Hudson, Nurtsman, River Falls, Stillwater, Menominee, and surrounding areas. Give Brian a call today at 715-781-8989 for a quote, install, or service. Since 1935, Baldwin Greenhouse has been serving Baldwin and the surrounding areas by offering the freshest flowers, plants, and gifts for any occasion. Some of the flowers and many of the plants are grown right on site. They'd love to help with anything you need. Give them a call at 715-684-2140 or visit online at baldwingreenhouse.com. All right, second possession for the Panthers. Going to keep, and here comes the toss. There we go, swarming. Again, they talk about do your job. There it is. Get to the ball. Took away the fullback. Took away the he quarterback. Like Ponath, the ball that was actually Ponath, I believe. Eli Ponath. For Andrew nothing. Thompson second and ten. So. No gain on the carry. It brings up second and First, we'll call negative play, if you will, for the Panthers. There, they seem to get four yards on first down minimum. Blackhawk D here. Not desperate for a stop yet, but they really could want to dig their toes in and. That's going to be some green there. Just tripped up. Nice job by Hush to Samuel Fisher, trip the ball up carrier. Fisher. Tripped up by Not before picking up nine yards, making a very short third and one. And he again, there was the there carry. was no... Brings up third and one. The yards after three contact three was zero. Four there four was no, no contact. There's just a big old gap to run through. The, the first possession, I know Sell brought him down from behind twice. That one... Like you said, a lot of green coming at us. Third and one. And they're just getting their, their blockers out in front and making holes and hitting holes. It's been very impressive through, you know, what, 10, 10 plays for the Panthers? New spot up the middle. He is hit right away. And the spot is going to be short oh, new spot the ball by about a half yard. That's the fastest I've seen that ref moving a long time. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna, they're going to run that exact same play again. I, yeah, I, I don't know why you On a hard count. So fourth and about a half yard. Four and a half minutes to go. They went 80 yards the first drive. They need about a half a yard to a yard here on fourth down. They're going into the meat of that Blackhawk defense. So, BV and Sauer, they're hungry. Get in the backfield, make a play. Quarterback sneak, he's yeah, gonna have it. Him. Easy. By about two yards. Caden Wester on the quarterback sneak. Wester. Credit him with three. Play, Out to the 49 of down. the Panthers. Ben the First and 10, fresh set of downs. First and 10 from the Cinco Central 49. That's the downside, not having someone directly over the center. Right? As we close in, and three and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter has been dominated on the ground by St. Christ Central Panthers. And it'll be quarterback, quarterback. Oh he's gonna be out of that some space. Good block by Sullivan. And finally brought down, but not before we get on inside the 30. Give him about 24 more or so. And another Panther, first down. They're, uh, at a hundred and so they went 80 the first possession 117 first yards on the ground so far through 13 plays 
Nine yards a pop. And Coach Keeper says, Enough of that. We need to talk about this defense here. Let's regroup here. Down 7 0 with 314 to go. Precision Excavating Enterprises is a full service excavating, grading, and trucking contractor located in Baldwin, offering all types of residential and commercial earth moving septic systems, demolition, landscaping, driveways, and building sites. Our trucking division offers dump truck, grain hopper, and flatbed hauling services, sand gravel fill delivery. Serving the Baldwin and surrounding western Wisconsin areas. Give us a call at 715 760 0768 for free estimates. Members of Wisconsin Credit Union can access account information and take care of most everyday banking needs via Wisconsin Online, the mobile app, and text banking. Immediate access to your Wisconsin accounts is also available 24 hours a day via touchtone phone. Visit them at wisconsincu.org to learn more. And that's where I'm going to stop, Nick, because I am going to reattach some Velcro that come, came loose behind us. I believe they're trying to reset that game clock to 316, I believe is what this referee over here is trying to say. What's it right now? 314. I see 316. I, I could make a joke about 316. I won't say that about, about him. Yes. There it is. Look at that. 316 to go. First attempt for the Panthers. We the just fixed our little score yeah. clock here. Apologize, it is windy, so we'll keep an eye on that. Make sure we got the score and time in the corner of your screen for you. As we're back here, at the Blackhawk timeout. Just a huge push, on the ball man. Credit him with over eight again. Noose bomb for eight yards. Second and two, inside of three minutes. Gain of eight yards in the carry brings up. And so you're talking about two. Fisher being their leading rusher. Wester has 60, Noose bomb has 49. Fisher's only carried the ball three times for 16 yards. You expect him to start seeing the ball well, a little bit more. That's a, he, that might be the, the lightning to the thunder here. You know, here's Newsbaum up the middle, and he's just got that push. This is, you know, when, when you look at what what the Blackhawks struggled with at Rice Lake, the game they lost, it was that up the middle, up the middle, beat you, beat you, beat you, beat you, beat you, beat you, and all of a sudden, then then here comes a big play. And that's what Fisher's just looking at his chops, going, wait till I, wait till these guys are all tired. They're used, they're used to Newsbaum up the middle. They're used to Wester keeping it. Now I'm going to get on the edge. I'm going to have a lot of green. Right. And you also start to get our, our secondary guys peeking in the backfield a little bit more. And, oh, there goes Sullivan. Tr trying to help out. Yep. So another first down for the Panthers. 15-yard line. He's going to keep it. Cuts it up. Kaden Wester, the ball carrier. Picks up about three yards on first down again. Wester. That's a good job of playing that foot and just getting upfield. Yep. You know, not much there, but plants turns up. In the carry. Picks up, up at least three. Seven from the ball and 12. Oh, you know what? I think there's probably a lot of noise. Nope. Good. Second and seven. Minute and a half to go here in Baldwin's first quarter. And the Fisher. The wow. pile is just pushing. Yeah, there's that. Sam Fisher, the ball carrier. That line. Inside the 10. Brings up third down. We did see uh, they do kick the ball, and they had a very successful extra point, but I don't expect them. I mean, if they get any kind of positive yards here, I expect them to be going Absolutely. for it. Third down, four yards to go from the ball. The but yeah, let's make them make that decision right here. Right. Third and four, 60 seconds to go. First quarter that's been all Panthers. He's gonna, he's gonna pass, pass it wide open, open. Sullivan, there he is, just lull you to sleep, and all he does is catch touchdowns. Mason Sullivan into the end zone. That's his, I believe his 13th touchdown. Nine touchdown. So, Wester to Sullivan. There it is, we said, play action, you peek in. All right, so we're, we're getting back connected here. Getting the deep receivers for the Blackhawks, they're number 20, Colton Hush, and 31, Ryan Vinadol. We're back, back online, that may happen. We're connected to the school Wi-Fi, and that just happens occasionally. It does oh. go up in here, field at the 20 by Hush, he'll cross the 30. 
Oh, ball's out. Ball's loose, oh, and this shoot. is not good. Oh, shoot. I said that uh, off air is this panic time if you're a Blackhawk fan. It, it might not have been then, but it might be now. It is now. So you might have missed the extra point. It was no good by Central. Hush on the kickoff return. Loses the ball. Panthers will take over on the Blackhawk 31 with 40 seconds to go, leading 13 nothing, and they've taken this crowd completely out of the game. Yeah, that's that's the thing, turnovers. Up the middle, and he just keeps those feet moving. Down to about the 27-yard line, give him four more on first down. I think we've heard that a few times. Hayden Holdorf on the tackle. So it's regroup time here for those wearing black. Yeah, so through a quarter, we're going to have uh, the Blackhawks running three plays and Central on the doorstep of scoring their third touchdown. That's, yeah, there's, there's domination of a quarter, then there's, then there's that, what just happened right there. I mean, zero, zero yards. Zero yards right. for Blackhawks. Two rushes for zero yards and an incomplete pass. So. Hey, 139 for the Panthers. They played four quarters last time I checked, though. That's true. So. Right now at the quarter break, we'd like to... All right, so let's... Uh, A-Star Concrete Pumping is proud to be family-owned and operated in Wisconsin. Pride ourselves on maintaining a high-quality, unique fleet and very knowledgeable staff to complete all projects, from smaller residential projects to large-scale commercial enterprises. A-Star Concrete Pumping has the equipment, staff, and experience to handle all of your concrete needs. Whether we're cooking the perfect butter burger to order or scooping up our freshest batch of the flavor of the day, we work hard to ensure you will always leave happy. We know you have a lot to do and many options to choose from, so we appreciate when you take the time to visit Culver's of Baldwin. And I'm gonna stop there. So I mean the the good news for the Blackhawks is yes, they do they can strike quickly. In case you haven't seen them, I don't know why you've been all, all uh, fall, but they do have the big play capability with we off. Right. Oh we are, oh, are they, are they, we're good. Oh, we, you know, we were just we were catching up on some when someone said we second could down, the score. second man through, Fisher, or inside the twenty. That was Fisher, you say? I believe so. Sam Fisher on the For eight. eight, down to the nineteen, and yet another first down. I mean, we'd have to have a good drive to equal the, the, our plays to their first downs, right? First and 10 from the 19 for the Panthers, already leading 13 nothing, just starting the second quarter. Things will change. Up the middle, this bomb, got a hole. It does go down. Brought down, I believe, by Wienendahl. Which one? This bomb, the ball carrier. Ryan, not before crossing the 15, though. Sure down to the 14. Older. Five the carry Credit five yards five on first 14. down. Second and five. And that's the other thing too, is that the defense has been out there almost for probably 12 minutes, I would guess. 12 to 13 minutes. Might be even more than that. Yeah, yeah the, the sideline, pretty dead. Keeper. He's going to backpedal, down, close to another first down, the stopping the clock, he's inside the 10. They move the chains, and yet another first down, St. Croix Central Panthers. First and goal this time from about the 8-yard line. Getting in the play, good for a first down for the Panthers. Central approaching 160 yards on the ground thus this far. First and goal to go from the 8-yard line. This is the area where they play action again on first yeah. down. Lot to his left. Wester looks over, gets the play, and he keeps, tosses Fisher. Good tackle by Graydon there. Samuel Fisher, the ball carrier. Does push him out of bounds. 
pick up maybe a yard is all Braden for Fisher. Just a, a tick inside of 10 minutes to go in the first half. I mean, whenever you see that option, that's what you're you're trying to do, right? You, you tackle the dive, quarterback pulls, hit the quarterback, make him toss, and then have a corner there to tackle the, the pitch man. Sullivan down at the bottom of the screen. One-on-one -on -one versus throw Bonner. fade. Nope, up the middle. Fisher. He goes nowhere. That might be a no gain, huh? It is a no gain. So third and goal from the seven. And this is an extra point now. I mean, obviously it's way early, but a field goal still makes it a two-possession game is all. Yeah, you got two shots to get seven. I don't think you're – if you're tackling, you're not even thinking about kicking a field goal. You're going to score, and you're going to go up 20. That That's – Or or make them go 90. Yep. Sullivan there and a tight end. end. And they are passing. He's going to try and get the edge. He got He's going to have the edge. He dives, finds the pylon. The no need to worry about fourth down. Zero. They're going to score on third down with 9-11 to go. It's St. Croix Central adding to the lead. Scoreboard's correct. It's 19-0. It makes the score 19-0. Didn't see this happening. Well, again, he ran three offensive plays. Right. And they've scored, scored three, three touchdowns. touchdowns. Hayden Buckle into attempts at point after six. So, we've seen this team put points up. Bad snap. Balls on the ground. And point scoring play. Another unsuccessful and point after snap. try. That'll keep the score. So St. Croix Central 19, Baldwin 0. Remaining in quarter number two Nielsen's Foods has been serving communities since 1903. We offer full service caribou coffee, bakery, deli, and meat departments. We pride ourselves with our award winning Nielsen's Market Meats and our friendly staff. Nielsen's vision is to build a strong family of customers and employees by delivering superior service to our customers, offering employee growth opportunities, reinvesting in our stores, and serving in our communities. Firehelm Langer is a CPA firm with offices in Baldwin, El Baldwin, Ellsworth, and River Falls. At Firehelm Langer, our clients are our top priority. We offer the skills and expertise of a large CPA firm combined with the personal attention and responsiveness of a smaller firm. When you partner with us, we get we take the time to get to know you, understand your goals, and build a lasting professional relationship. We invite you to turn to us at Firehelm Langer for bookkeeping services, payroll services, financial projections, tax preparation, tax planning, and all of your accounting and tax needs. I think, so I think about the weather like this too. Like I want to say is like right now on this sideline, it's probably about 15, 20 degrees colder than it is that sideline right now. I mean, just when it's this cold, something's like oh, down, we're down 19 right. nothing. Now you start noticing it's a little windier, it's a little colder. Bad things can happen. Take care of the football. Yep. Put that offense out there. Nothing more you need right now than a, a drive. I would love an 80-yard one-play drive, but a sustained drive. Just, uh, a little 31. crossing route across the middle to Gavin Sell. Went for 28 yards across midfield. And then on first down, Cal went nowhere. And now we're going to go back five. Are we going to go back five? Because I saw it shoot. <laughs> he obviously didn't see a right tackle. No, I saw their, their right end. Their right end come forward. I prefer to not run off my hot spot when I can help it because yeah, when things are coming into my phone, it like messes with my signal. To the the again, the Stop texting Jeremy. Okay, I'll right. drop. Second and 15, knocked down. Knocked Rick down by number himself. five, no one who's bomb. I feel like his name gets said a lot throughout the course of, uh, you know, the games. Third and 15, yeah, I, I, I know he was a tackling machine last year, too, and I'm guessing he probably leads the team in tackles this year. That time he's played kind of a rover there and knocked the ball down on the crossing route. Trips to Cal's left, third and 15. Cal's got pressure. Look out, look out. Oh, does get it off. And pressure's by someone else, but knocked down by, guess who? 
No one who spawned. Good guess. Was I right? You were. Fourth and 15. So then there's an injured uh, Panther here. Which gives Coach Kiefer time to think. Do you overthink this or do you not overthink it? Well, you don't punt. Cause you, don't, you don't punt for 15 yards. So you got to go. You got to go. I mean, you, you, you punt, if you punt now, you're sending a message of, of, of what to your team. I mean, right. I would rather go for it and not get it saying, hey, I believe that we can get 15 yards than try and pin them deep. We, we, we've had no stopping on them right now. They've marched three times down. Right. So here's the issue with fourth and 15. Double passes, uh, bubble double pass, halfback pass. None of none of the first part of those are believable. Right, because not gonna, that, well, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. I, I'm gonna guess a wheel route to Jackson is what the primary route's gonna be. I'm Jeez. guessing they don't want a lot of pressure. Yeah, I was gonna get pick up a lot of yards, but he's only across 30. He's gonna be about seven yards yeah, short. And on that, the Panthers will turn the Blackhawks over on downs, and they'll take over their fourth possession. The Clock's Denver running right now, Mr. The uh, so Timmerman. The the there you go. Thank you. you Speaking of Timmerman, the market is changing. And take advantage of our combined 30-plus years of experience to guide you through it. Call Don at 715-684-9541 or Andrew at 715-928-0410 of Timmerman Realtors for all your realty needs. First and 10 for... Stop Panthers texting Don during game two. <laughs> He's got a job to do. I'll tell you, Central is out and ready to play offense. Yeah. Up the middle. Noose bomb it. I mean, he gets he has nothing, and he's still picking up three yards. Noose bomb the ball carrier. Yeah, he's a he's an impressive runner. It's at 65 on 10 carries. Second and seven, and out to the 30-yard line. For the Blackhawks. Seven minutes to go. Gain of three. A half. Second and seven. Now dominated by 30. St. Croix Central. Just when the Blackhawks thought they might get something rolling. Zero yards on first down penalty. Now you're chasing the sticks again. Yeah, and we had a penalty, a holding penalty on our first drive declined. And uh, and we have the only turnover so far. So. Stakes again. It's the only category we're leading in right now. Counter coming this way. It gets blocked in the back. But nice Eli tackle Jordan for no gain. Third and seven. So maybe I maybe I don't understand this one, but no gain there's an area. Third and seven from is the it 30. a is it a yard where you can't? Like you can legally block in the back? Is that the line of scrimmage? I feel in, like inside the tackle box. Inside the tackle box at yes. the line of scrimmage. Inside okay. the tackle box. That was outside the tackle. That box. was definitely. I, I didn't see the replay, but it, I was, as, as long as you engage on the front too. Now, if you right. engage on the front and the, and the They're gonna pass. runner ball carrier turns, stand him up and go back. He's just gonna try to fight. He, did he get it? They kind of give him a decent yeah, spot, I think. Yeah. They're, not even, they're not even going to put the ball down. They're going to wave the chain game. Obviously not. I thought he kind of had it, lost it, had it, lost it. He like ran back. <laughs> he was going to fight. He was going to fight four guys. Picks up the first down on, on third and seven. I mean, I get not throwing the ball so much when you can obviously just pound the ball. Mason Sullivan have a lot of fun in an offense like ours. <laughs> he keeps. Oh, just tripped up. Is that Sell or is that? Yep. Western the ball carrier. You just see a tackle back there. It's either Sell or Fritz. Twos look like threes. So one yard is all for Wester. Give him two, second and eight. Out to the 39. Here's where you just need that strip. Grab that ball. Some Someone needs a spark here. Hush is creeping up the line. It is up the middle. Noose bomb. Crosses the 40. Again, it looks like Almost nothing, and he's picking up three yards again. Well, on the I think that was four. It's 
three yards. Gain of three on the carry. Oh, they think he thought it was number four. No, he thought it was. I don't think so. Thought it was. Third and five. Third and five. Wide open playbook again. We've seen him only throw a couple times, but successfully. And he's going to drop back again. He's going to go deep to Sullivan this time. Read it all. Going back with him. And he's just overthrows him. Interesting that they did that on third and medium range. Because I'm never going to punt. And he does send out the punt units. That's an interesting. Make him punt it. It's a, it's, a, it's a victory there as you're coming out the field. It's, 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 a, it's about to be a victory, I should say. Well, you you got to, I mean, you're in midfield. Are they really going to punt? Um, they're, they're notice their punter is also the leading rusher of the season, too, Sam yeah. Fisher. That just, I mean, I, I, I don't mind the play call, but it's like when you can get three, four yards a shot, just. Good snap. And then the punt is away. It's an excellent snap. To Snell. 26. Makes the first guy miss. He's if he gets a room. Oh, wow, that caught. Caught. That's a nice cut. We need a spark. Someone had to have it. Do not block him in the back. Colton Hush. Gavin Snell. There it is. 74 yards. There it is. We said they can strike quickly. I said last possession we didn't want it. We want a sustained drive. This possession we want a quick one. Gavin Sell puts him on the board. 19-6 Central. Suddenly a little life over here. Student section at least. I, think, I don't know if the parents even saw that or not. Gavin Sell's Add ability, that to his highlight reel. ability to make a cut, which he does to the punter, who you mentioned is not a slouch. Like he's not even there. Uh, you don't see guys make like cuts a, like that. I gotta get. I gotta find a way to find that kid to play some hockey. <laughs> Snap. Kick is up, and it's through. The spark that Baldwin needed right, not right before half, but with 3:35 to go in the first half, Baldwin on the board, trailing 19 to seven. Precision Truck Service is a full-service heavy truck and trailer repair shop located in Baldwin and offering all types of general repair for heavy truck and trailer, diesel, mobile service, alignments, computer diagnostics, welding and fabrication, and sandblasting. As a Michelin heavy truck tire dealer, we offer best in pricing on Michelin, BFG, and Unirail tire brands, balancing, and installation. Give us a call at 715-760-0768 or stop in. We are located conveniently on the north side of Baldwin under the water tower. Now, Nick... It's easy for me to say up here, but I'm a fan of keeping your foot on the gas. Onside? What? Are you trying to say onside kicker or what? No, no, no. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. But <laughs> that's why I question why Central. On third and five. Right. Goes deep on third and five and then punts on fourth and five. You well, have the momentum. And what we, what we said, I mean, like they've been getting hit in the line of scrimmage and managed to find three, managed to get right. four, especially, especially with noose bomb. Right, but what's the worst that happens on if they go for it on fourth and five, they don't get it? We take over at midfield, right? I, now the momentum is clearly in our favor. The Hawk I, coaches I, changed their. their I, I, I like I like the I would run it with Deuce Bomb there, and if it's fourth and one, then maybe throw deep. You know, trying to you know. Well, if it's fourth and one, you just go for it and get the first down. Well, I, that's the time, but but an overthrow of Sullivan leads to a punt. Leads to the Blackhawks getting on the board, and a nice kick into the wind. And into the corner. There's Fisher. Oh, and we talked about him being able to run. The leading rusher does get pushed out of bounds, but Sam Fisher on the not before third. getting about to the 40 yard line bounds. where the Panthers will have, I believe, their fifth possession the of the half. Of bounds. Tra leading 19 to 7. But now it's, it's hey, let's get a Some stop light. here. Right. Let's get a stop. You know, if we if, if the stop comes at the end of the first half or, or you know, the Hawks and don't get the ball back, the you're getting the ball back to start the second half and get within, you know, not necessarily within a field goal, but you're within striking range. Right. And hopefully the, the add some life, because we had That's that happen against Osceola where we got a little bit of life right before half. Just need a spark, and there it is, running, no gain. They give him a yard. We, we, again, Fisher is the leading rusher. He's the one who's been struggling to get going, if anything. Yeah, eight carries for 29 yards. That's still over three, three at pop. That's not, that's not bad. But, well, compared but. to their 11 for 68, right. eight for 78. Yeah. And Ponash is 
two for zero, but so far it's it's been Western and Newspawn just dashing them, carrying the load. They did cut up the yards, so second and nine for the Panthers. Wester gets Wester trying to get the edge, he does. Does get forced out of bounds. I think it's Ryan Vindal. If the ref's standing where he's spotting, he's going to be short, short by about a yard. He's got a he's got a gear that he gets to very quickly. He kind of stutters and then goes. Gain of eight yards in the I mean, he was he was patiently waiting to try to get to the edge, and as soon as he accelerated, it was accelerating past people. So you're saying third and one here from midfield. Do you want to go deep? That's down <laughs> deep. Third and one. I, you just pound it. Yeah, that's. QB sneak. Nobody over top. Crosses midfield. Credit him with three yards. Credit them with another first down. Like they could have done that on third and five last time and then had a fourth and one. Yeah. Wester at 89 now on the night. He's accounted for uh, two rushing touchdowns and a passing touchdown. He's a senior, right? Wester, yeah. He can graduate so we don't have to watch him again? Yes. Nussbaum's a senior. Fisher's a senior. Sullivan's a senior. Don't know their their line that well. Their line has been uh, pretty dominant thus far. Yeah, they've they've all been you know kind of that four point stance. Oh boy, you know old Somerset back in the day where they get down a four point stance and just hit, hit you right in the thighs. And there it is again. Is that Fisher? This time? Fisher for six. Yeah. Six yards on first down. Two minutes to go. I mean, as much as I say I don't want to see Wester again, the reality is if I want to see the Blackhawks play deep into the playoffs, we're going to have to go through this team. Right. Regardless of how this game ends. Second man through, Fisher. Going to have the first down inside the 40. But at 44 to go, they give him signal the first down. Colin Fritz and Colton Hush on the tackle. Now is the time where they might be looking to get the ball into the air, though. The they do have, I believe, all three timeouts still. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how quickly I do that. Right here, play action. It is second man through Fisher. Sauer hits him. Right at 35, about two yards, second and eight. Noah Sauer on the tackle. I mean, the, the aggressiveness I think Coach Tackman demonstrated or lack of aggressiveness by go, throw, going in the air on third and five and punting. Pretty, I mean, that was pretty rapid decision. Right. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of urgency here. You're at the 35 yard line, like you mentioned, with three timeouts left. And maybe you throw here. And they does drop back. Quarterback draw. He makes a drop back in the backfield. And now the timeout. Sour again. Interesting. Timeout. By this time, oh, actually they called it. Yeah. Oh. The way that I looked down, I saw this official calling timeout. He's looking back at at our coaching staff, like maybe we called timeout. It's like, ooh. No, and and we're certainly not going to call timeout no. there. But it surprised me that if you're calling a draw and me, if you're calling a draw and, and you're getting yards, and sure, yeah, call a timeout, but. Now it's third and third and ten. Obviously, passing situation. If the if it's an incomplete pass, do you, do you go for a fourth down or do you punt it from the from the wow. thirty-seven yard line? I mean, you, you almost don't want to punt it into the end zone for seventeen yards. But yet, if if this is a no gain or a short gain, right? Regardless, because because I think that Coach Keith would stop the clock. Yeah, I, I mean I, that would be my assumption. Do you, do you do you certainly pass it because then? You're, go you're going to give the ball back to us, or do you run it? See what happens here. I, I run it and make them, and I would I would either make them use a time their uh, a timeout or run it, run it play clock down as far as you can, and then go for and fourth down. Right. You know, because at that point there's only maybe 20, 15 seconds left or so. I do think having Mason Sullivan kind of changes things because he's a weapon. They are kicking into the or with the wind. Sorry. They're covering up their tight end again, so a pass. they do no max deal. protect. He's gonna try and sneak outside, and he does get forced out of bounds. See, and that's in the, the back worst thing to happen for them. Not only does he lose yards, it stops the clock. Fourth and 12, 38.2 seconds to go. Now, I, 
And now at this point, I'm punting. Right. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, you, I make it go at least 80 yards yard with 35 seconds, 34, 33 yard seconds from the 38 of to. Yeah, they're not bringing their punt unit. No. In, so. Well, the punter is out there, but. Fourth and 11 here, 38 seconds to go in the they're first half. Deep to Sullivan without play. hesitation. They do drop back. They are going deep to Sullivan. Pushed off. And if he catches it, he's going to be wow. inbounds. Pass completed to Sullivan. All the way down inside the five. Oh, Zach caught that one. Pass completion gives the point. It's tough to tell it all slow motion, but nice catch nonetheless. And just like that, with 30 seconds to go, Jeez. Panthers go from fourth and 11 to scoring. Ponath up the middle. Or not Ponath, sorry. Newsball up the middle. And Newsball touchdown, Panthers. Panthers. 25 7. You know, I, we. Earlier in the season, we had Somerset. We talked about how they just didn't do that with Lesha. Right. I mean, just throw it up and let an athlete make a play. That's all it was there. Right. And I'm not, I'm not taking anything anyway from, from the quarterback there. I mean, Wester throws it where he has to throw it. Right. But it's a receiver making the play. Yeah, Sullivan's a, a very good player. You only need one foot in in high school, and I think he yeah, dragged a, he dragged his back field. foot certainly. Um, Hard to tell if the front foot landed before the back foot landed. But go make the play and yeah. and that's a, it's exactly what you didn't want to have happen obviously right. going into the half down down uh, three possessions, but. Yeah, and uh, again, offensively, so we had a 28-yard pass to sell across the middle. Otherwise, we've yet to gain a first down. So that's our only first down. Right. Um, luckily, we do have a punt return for 70-some yards, or whatever it was, 60-some. 60, 70, 74. Fire down. Um, yeah, if, that, if that's not on the board, you replace that with a three and out, or, you know, something. Ooh. Yeah. Blackhawks do get the ball first in the second half. And extended the second half. Attempt. But not before this two-point conversion attempt. Up the middle, he loses his feet. But keeps him going. He's going to be denied again. So, denied the extra point again. It's going to be still 25-7. to St. Croix Central leading the Blackhawks with 26.4 to go in the first half. And just, yeah, you know, we're walking off, heads down, they're jogging off, clapping, and high fives. So obviously, you know, they're up 25-7, but. Right. All right, I got to tell you about Strikers Lanes and Sports Bar at 780 Cedar Street, an offer in Baldwin offering something for everyone. If you are interested in the competition and camaraderie of a team, come join one of the bowling leagues offering men, women, couples, seniors, and youth leagues that run from September through April. We reserve an open bowling time for family, friends, work, or birthday parties. When you get hungry or thirsty from all the bowling fun or while watching the big games on the mini big screen TV, Stryker Sports Bar is sure to satisfy. Check out our menu and weekly food and drink specials at strikerslanes.com. So we're going to get, I mean, we're going to get a couple shots here, and obviously we're no strangers to big plays. Yep. You know, the goal here is get across the 30. Get across the 30 after the kickoff. Um, then it's, you know, hopefully one, maybe two plays, you're across midfield. A couple of cracks set it then, and, and uh, two timeouts left. Clock does stop on a first down, but yeah. you'd still likely use a timeout. Yeah, and the other thing, too, is you want to make you want to make good decisions. Uh, Central has a timeout left, and they've also had a, a good pass rush a couple times, and, and the last thing you want is a strip sack. Hate to talk negatively, but... I think you throw bubbles and try to get something going towards the sideline. High hop, fielded by Wienendahl. They cut across the 20. He does cross the 30. 
Up to about the 34-yard line where the Blackhawks have 20 seconds remaining in the first half. We'll see if they attempt to chip away at this lead here. I would, I would run I would run something down to the wide side of the field, trying to get Gavin in space. Quick pass to him. Um, Is that Ebert out there? Where's Gavin? Everett? Brody Everts. Gavin's in the Gavin's backfield. In, so that means that... Colin Fritz is out there. No, that Monica. means Graydon is not in. Monica's not out there. Yeah, Graydon's standing here in the 43-yard line. Yep. So it's going to be, I think we're going to try to get a guy to the edge. That's going to be underthrown and knocked. Actually oh, caught, caught, caught but out of bounds. I, it looks like that was maybe some good miscommunication it looked like he wanted to throw that no I think it pass. was a, I think it was like a like a like a, a fake but yeah. it looked like he almost he almost lost the ball then right. yeah just a just a pump fake to try to get one guy to bite there's about 700 elementary school girls on the track right now you can't Are see they it. all in your class nope you don't teach anymore nope Run right up the middle. Coach Keeper saw enough of that. He's seen enough the first half. Let's, 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 let's get in. Let's regroup. It's been all Panthers with the exception of a 74-yard punt return by Gavin Sell. They have one first down to the Blackhawks offense, and the Panthers lead 25-7. to All right, so here at halftime, what we'll have is we'll have uh, Coach Ambrose on the camera, and he will uh, do his best to show you so many cheerleader, cheerleader activity. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to zoom in on every kid, but we'll try to try to get you a little screen time here. We also have band. So the band is coming on. And they just learned a bunch of new cheers at their cheer camp this week. So they're going to show us their cheers here. What grades were these? I'm not sure how young they, Can they started. Kindergarten through uh, fifth, fifth was that? Uh, yeah, that sounds right. And our cheer coaches, led by our head cheer coach, Megan Tierman. The front, I got front row was packed. Yeah, everyone's got their phones out. I got a I got a comment. Uh, Sullivan was in, followed by blatant full extension push up. <laughs> but you know what? It's hard. It's hard to. I've praised Grade Monikin for doing that exact same thing. I mean, it hasn't been blatant full extension, but creating your own separation. Yeah as the ball is, is approaching. Especially on fourth down like that, I mean. Right. What do you gotta lose? Make them make throw the flag and. Yep. Nothing to lose, but there was there was no other option on that play. It was like, hey, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna throw it deep to Sullivan. And like you, like you said, and like we talked about earlier, Somerset's gonna figure that out with Dylan Lesha. Because he's too good of an athlete to not just isolate and, yeah, and go to. You gotta figure it out before the season's over. I don't know. That's my thought, anyway. I mean, we talked in, in, in pregame while you and I were talking because we, I say we forgot to plug in the mics. I, I totally forgot. It, that it's just the, the big play that he provides. is doesn't have a lot of catches, but he makes, he's an athlete and he gets in the end zone and that's, right. the, the, the thing we talked about is they lull you to sleep, lull you to sleep, and then make the big play. That was fourth and 12. There's no one sleep on that play. Nope. No, and we had our safety running over there too, like, yeah, but I mean, everybody knew he just got to be there quicker. And the, on that, it's I mean you got to protect the whole field against Sullivan, but right. I'd almost like to see, you know, even like a a Gavin or something like that go over there and just try and try and get him at the line of scrimmage. Right. Get him you off know, his road. Yep. You know, if, if you can buy a second with Gavin and, and if you blitz him off, blitz Gavin off the edge or something like that, but you buy a second for Fritz. Right. And. He might not get that ball off, but that's easy for us to say up here. I mean, right. 
Yeah, we do have a great a great location to form opinions. Some are better than the others. Yeah. Not a great location when it's windy and the wind is ripping through our headsets and pants. And they're cheering. That's true.
right, welcome back to half number two. I'm Jeremy Nygaard, joined by Nick Pack, and of course our cameraman Zach Ambrose. Well, Nick, I've seen halves go better. Yeah, I've seen halves go worse. <laughs> so, I mean, that's why they give you two halves. Um, you know, hopefully get in there, talk a few things over, and there's definitely a few things to talk about. Right. Um, uh, again, well, I, I'm gonna guess we had so three, four, five, nine offensive plays. Um, we had actually eleven. Oh, did we? we oh, sorry, the last two. I forgot about those two. Yep. So we. Uh, so we had nine before the last the the throw to to sell and then the run up the middle. Yep. So okay. we we're one for five passing. The one completions to Gavin for twenty-eight. Kells ran the ball five times for 14 yards. Jackson's ran the ball once for zero yards. That's not a lot of offense. That sounds like an opening drive. Not, not even. That sounds like a bad opening drive right. for the Blackhawks. Yeah, for Cal to have four incompletions, that sounds like a, a, a half or okay. three quarters, but he usually has ten completions. Right, that, that, that part of it does not sound like an opening drive. But, uh, again, second half to, to put some points on the board and, and – uh, I think that the the biggest thing with putting points on the board offensively is going to also come with stopping them defensively. Right. Uh, five possessions, four of which is ended up in the end zone. You know, if you figure that, if you, you're going to have only four or five more possessions and you're trailing by four right. or three possessions. Yeah, I mean, the reality is one team took an 18-point halftime lead, and so... It's possible for the other team to take another an 18-point second half lead, right? I mean, I mean, absolutely. We, we turned the ball over once. We had a penalty um, that that proved to be kind of costly. It's you hope you hope as a as a Blackhawk fan that it's a, a tale of two halves, and we'll get to see here relatively soon how we come out for the second half because. I they're, they're jacked up. I mean, you can't see them on the screen. Synchro Central is, is jumping up and down. They're screaming. They're they're ready to go. And we're coming over going, okay, guys, we, we, we need to do this. We need to believe. And they're yep. going, don't let them believe. And right. I, I really do believe that this opening possession by the Blackhawks will set the tone in the second half. And if – obviously, they don't score. I'm not saying the game's over. But if they don't score, look out. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing that, that St. Croix Central has to their advantage is when they have the ball, that clock is going to – they're, they're going to tick, churn tick, tick, the yep. clock. They will, and we and that's the thing is if you can march down the black rocks, you can march down, you know, cut it to a two-score game, now suddenly they're not just just going down one-dimensional. Now if you can somewhere find a way to get that turnover – Turn, turn the momentum of the game back over to your side and make a game out of it. Right. You never know. It, 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 if you can make it that far, the fourth quarter, you'll have the wind at your back. That is the advantage of, of I, I think, of the advantage of deferring. You get the ball to start the second half, and you get the wind in the fourth quarter. Yeah, but don't have the, uh, the clock in front of you. You got the clock behind you. I mean, there's advantages. I, I mean, certainly you wait and you defer, but you'd like to think how would that have changed if we had taken the ball and went down and scored? You know, that's... Yep, yep. They set the tone, 80-yard drive to start the start the game. Yeah. And it wasn't uh, really much of a doubt of a drive either. We have more people on the press box roof than I've ever seen I'm, in the history I'm of the press box roof. No worried about this, but yeah, there's, there's a good amount. Standing room only up here, yeah. too, even. So. All right, I'm just dead. Halftime we are. Ready to start the second half. It is a very short kick. Just field it and get up what you can get. Tayden Haldor spins. He'll cross the 30. Actually, no, across the 35. Out to the 38-yard line with the Blackhawks. Like to wipe the first half clean and start fresh right now. By Led by senior Boyce. quarterback Cal Smith, who probably had the worst half of his career, but that's only because he only had so many snaps. I mean, it's tough to do. It's tough to get on a roll when you have two right. possessions. And the Blackhawks will be yeah, more or less. I mean, first and ten from their own 37. Yeah, I mean, that's what, 
Was that all it was? Well, it was the. Oh, we turned over and down once too, didn't yeah. we? So three possessions essentially. Cal's gonna keep it on a sweep. That's you don't a see this. Never QB seen that sweeps. Before. Does get the edge. Does almost get midfield. So he's he's usually faked that jet sweep and gone up the middle, and, and that's gone nowhere tonight. He follows the, the a little student body right here. Yeah. Because yeah, you're bringing all your dudes for jet. You're just now you have the instead of the ball carrier, you have him be the lead blocker. Quick pass. Ooh. You haven't had some blockers do. Yeah, there there's certainly some chirping in, in at number three. Yeah. And if you want to, if you that might fire him up too. If you don't know him that well, yeah. that, this well, might that's uh, the thing. He, give him he what he dish, needs. He dishes it out, but he'll 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 be able to take it. And I think he just uses his motivation. Three on three down here to our the wide side. I like the numbers game down here. They like it up the middle, which again we just have not gone up the middle well. Brings up a third and eight. Do cross midfield. I'll say it, this possession might be the whole second half. I'll be surprised to see a punt unit for the Blackhawks go out right now. Yep. Two yards in the carry brings up third and eight. And again, we got Ebert down here. No monikin. Wide. To the wide side. Quick pass this time to Colin Fritz. If he catches it, he's going to lose yards because he's on a knee. The pass was low. It will be fourth and eight. One for seven passing. And just like I said, we won't punt, and the punt unit comes out. Wow. I don't even see Graydon on the sideline. He's down here. Oh, yeah. Where? I saw him. I think he just went out there now. Yeah, he's, out, he's out wide now. He's a gunner. Just crowding back to punt. Sullivan back to receive for the Panthers. Again, the dangerous Sullivan back. Punting into the win. High snap. Low, slow snap. Does get a side winding punt. Decent yardage. Oh, Makes the first guy miss. Trouble. He's got a wide side here. He's got to get around Fritz, though, which is a lot easier said than done. He does manage to do it. And he'll gain it almost the 40 yard line. Good return there by Sullivan. And the Panthers. Do turn the Blackhawks over on downs, and they'll take over, leading 25 to seven. I want to thank all of our sponsors here at Blackhawk TV. Quick to start the second half: Walden Greenhouse, Firehom Langer, Nielsen's Food, Saint Croix Garage Door, Saint Strikers Lane Sports Bar, Timmerman Realty, Wisconsin Credit Union, Saint Croix Custom Apparel, Walden Lightstream, CW Garage Door Distribution, Fender and Jewelers, Schaefer Financial Services, Blackhawk Garage Door, O'Connell Funeral Homes, Precision Truck Service, Precision and Excavating Enterprises, A Star Concrete Covers, the Baldwin Family Cairo Care, TMS Auto. Alverson Concrete Solutions, White Cap Financial Advisors, Pete's Construction, American Family Insurance, Village Pharmacy, OEM Fabricators, and Western Wisconsin Health. Thank you, sponsors. Up the middle. Going to get up the 44-yard line. 43. News bomb, bomb. Picks up three on first down. Two yards in the carry brings up see a steady dose of the run game in the second half again, just like the first half. Yeah, we saw uh, that punt result in some people deciding they were going to turn on something else on a Friday night. Uh-oh. Which, that's frustrating. Second man through. Cuts. Going to get out to the 45. Going to be about third and five, and much needed third down stop here by the, the Blackhawks. They were turned away yeah, on their opening possession in the second half here. Team of two brings up third and five from the 45. Third and five. Caden Wester, senior quarterback. And this is one where you want you're going to you're going to call for noose bomb at the middle. You personally, I'm saying would. Yeah, I mean, you, you run twice, keep the clock rolling. And I love to pass the ball, but I would I would run the ball. You love to be smart, too. I try to be. Well, he does that keep it, though. Things. Wester keeps it, disengages, the loses about West three yards. So the defense, a much, much Got needed seven. three and out. Not only a stand, but a three and out. Loss of three yards and Wester's last three carries have all gone on backwards. And, and now we get to see G Cell out there. Yeah. And punt formation shown by the Panthers. 
some some confusion here by the Panthers. And they might end up taking a delay game instead of a wasting a time out here. But so. oh, and then we don't have our wow. Uh, they did not have a, anyone covering up the gunner, which odds are he won't make the tackle. But oh, he odds will. are he did. Oh, I. I I mean, if they stand up and throw to him, that's an that's an easy first down. Right, right. So, and that's that's again, it's just the whole the mental thing of, of is it is it because it's cold out? You know, because you're down by 18, all those things start adding up and just little things like that. So, but the Blackhawks. First regardless, Blackhawks three and a half minutes later, get the ball back. Starting their own 22 yard line, 23 yard line. Cal, pump fix, flush out to his left, throws, bobbled and incomplete. Oh, he does hang on to it. Pass completed. Nice. Call it to uh, Gavin. Gavin kind of. I don't know that he uh, tackled by in. Mason Sullivan. No. But. Eight of four in the reception. Good bobble it. And and six. Give him four. Second completion, I believe, is all for yeah. Cal Smith, both the Gavin. Oh, we're going to see Jet. Oh. Cuts, and he goes nowhere. Cal Smith, the ball carrier. And brought down by Noah Nussbaum. Nussbaum and Fisher 58 in the tackle. total yards at this point Lost for the Blackhawks. Third and eight the for the Blackhawks. Trips to the narrow side. Gonna be a Haldorf at the middle this time. He picks up about three, and that'll bring up fourth and five. Frustration says gonna be a punt. punt. three yards on the carry. At some point, you gotta you gotta know that you are limited in how many possessions you're gonna have. And, and you can't hope for an empty possession from Central, so you gotta have to take a shot, right? I mean, yeah. another floating snap. Punt is away. Fielded by Sullivan. Hit right away. Get the ball out. Gang tackled. He hangs on to that ball. Sullivan on the return. Not much Panthers. return this time for Sullivan, but the Panthers three and out. Forces another three and out, and they'll pick over on their own 46 yard line. St. Croix Garage Doors provides Western Wisconsin with top quality garage door sales, service, and installation. We proudly serve Baldwin, Woodville, Hudson, Nurchman, River Falls, Stillwater, yeah, Menominee, and surrounding areas. Give Brian a call today at 715 781 8989 for a quote install or service. Ran them at halftime. Say that again? So I ran to him at halftime, but I didn't talk to him as long as you did. You were here on time. First and ten, up the middle, and not much this time, Only about two yards for Nussbaum, that's probably the shortest carry of the day. And this is how the second half is, how the second half started, is how I kind of anticipated this game would be, where both offenses Showed a little bit, but had a hard time getting going. I thought I thought there would be defensive stops. I thought it would be both teams would be lower scoring. I just didn't anticipate the first half going the way it did. Up the middle, this bomb again. I think it's him. It's kind of almost like a counter action trap. Maybe a yard. Give him one, Lewis third Bob and seven. Here. And the next big third down here for the Blackhawk defense. Lucas DeShane on the tackle. Trailing by 18. Yard brings up third and seven from the 49. If you, you know, keep them on their side of midfield, they'll likely punt it. You know, they're, they're right now thinking it's three possession. We're not going to give it anything we can. But, right. but the, again, you got to worry about stopping them here on third and seven. Solid. Draws it back. There it goes. Stop Sitting route. at the sticks. He got it. He does haul it in. Ooh. He's They're got it. Give enough, oh, yeah. yeah. 
his he caught the ball. He caught away. Yeah, I think that's even if anything, it's a poor spot. Yeah, for Central. Puts on the brakes. Catches it in front of Monica. And that's just good, good awareness. He got past the sticks. He worked his way back. Especially in high school, the sticks were, were on the opposite side of the field. Right. I mean, he, he he knew where he had to get to. He got there. Ran it a couple of yards deep. Came back. Good throw. First and ten Panthers on the 44-yard line of the Blackhawks. Is there all... Isn't there normally official in the defensive... The, normally the umpires, they can, they can go either way. How's he... Sp he spins out of losing two yards to pick First up a yard. Some crews will put their umpire in the backfield. Cal Smith on the tackle. Just seems weird. Kino it does. Kino brings up second and nine from the Baldwin Woodville 43. I don't like it, if I'm being honest. Well, umpires like it. Yeah, you're not in the... <laughs> Especially when they're they're running right at you every play. Right. And that's not the, that's not the scary part. The scary part is when those crossing routes are coming at right. you and... and the wide receivers are taught to use you as a as a as a screener. Yep. That's an interesting action there. Now, is 99 not an eligible number in high school? It is. Okay, so how are they? They don't have one through 49 and 80 through 99 are eligible numbers. Was that on again? I, thought, I, thought they had, I thought they had five guys. From the five eligible receivers, and then him, too. Well, if he's... You have to have five non-eligible. Numbers or numbers, players? Numbers. Numbers. It's all numbers. Where's 99? So that he's it, the tight end, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's yeah, six that they have, so they're good. They have five non-eligible. Out the middle, loose bomb. He's been stuffed this half. Newsbomb, the ball carrier. So it's going to be fourth down, and uh, look at this. From the 40, they're going to punt it. And Dylan yeah, and they're, the they're going to be more than content to just pick pound up, the ball. Pick up a first down. Up a yard up and four now, and worst case scenario, I mean, I should say worst case scenario is punt for a four. touchdown, but I'd be like, punt it in the end zone, yep. make them go 80 yards. We're down yep. to two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. We have a three-score lead. We know what we can do offensively, and that clock runs. Yep. Kick it to the side like you just did. Hopefully, a pin them deep, which they just did. Yep. Make the Blackhawks go 95 yards, trailing 25-7. Since 1935, Baldwin Greenhouse has been serving Baldwin and the surrounding areas by offering the freshest flowers, plants, and gifts for any occasion. Some of the flowers and many of the plants are growing right on site. They'd love to help with anything you need. Give them a call at 715-684-2104 or visit online at baldwingreenhouse.com. Yeah, that drive won't show up in the box score, but that's a, a successful drive. You picked up a first down, you chewed up a few minutes, and you pinned the Blackhawks deep. So, not a scoring drive, but could be just as costly. Speed sweep, trying to get the edge, not gonna happen. Can't go up the middle, can't get around the edge. Close three. Ball Sam Fisher that time. On the tackle. Sam Fisher and Nolan Murth on the tackle. Losing three is Hush. Second and 13 from the two. And Loss of three on that carry. Now you gotta be really careful. Second and 13 yeah. from the two you, got two, you got two officials in the offensive backfield seeing holds, holding the end zone. That's two points for the other team. I see 98 yards right here to Gavin Sell. Gavin wanted it. He's being blanketed by Sullivan, who's also a good cornerback as well. Yep. And you got to get yards here because if we're going to do a, a high floating punt, and, 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 and not, nothing against room. Gus, but he's, he's your soccer player. You know, he's not used to punting against, punting with the heels of the end zone. Right, but you you usually stand further than 12 yards back. Right. And look, look at him warming up here now, he's 15. Not gonna worry about it. He's throwing left hand. And, and a safety is one thing. This is not gonna be a safety. It's gonna be a left-handed yeah, interception. Eli, Eli Ponath. 
It was the result of a, a gift. And St. Croix Central is going to go up 31 to 7. Not what you want. No. 31 to 7. Like I said, Central again, Central backlash to before we start a drive. That drive by Central won't show up in the box score. Right. But it just did. Yeah, that's a tough one. Second turnover. Two point conversion attempt. This is the only thing that uh, Central has been uh, unsuccessful at is a the point after tries. They made the first extra point. And finally, Nussbaum takes Nussbaum's it. Nussbaum's able to bring one in for two more, and that ups the lead. Uh, St. Croix Central, 33. Baldwin Woodville, 7, with 136 to go here in the third quarter. Precision Excavating Enterprises is a full-service excavating, grading, and trucking contractor located in Baldwin, offering all types of residential and commercial earth-moving septic systems, demolition, landscaping, driveways, and building sites. Our trucking division offers dump truck, flat grain, hopper, and flatbed hauling services, sand, gravel, fill delivery. Serving the Baldwin and surrounding western Wisconsin areas, give us a call at 715-760-0768 for free estimates. Members of Wisconsin Credit Union can access account information and take care of most everyday banking needs via Wisconsin Online, the mobile app, and text banking. Immediate access to your Wisconsin accounts is also available 24 hours a day via touchstone phone. Visit them at wisconsincu.org to learn more. Got a little Elvis got, plan. Now you're at the point of the game where you basically you're hoping for four more possessions and you're trailing by four possessions. Yeah. So now, now you, you had to play a, a flawless game when your heads are the lowest they've been all year and, and Central's probably as pumped as they've been oh, all year. Yeah. Yep. And they've had they've won seventy to nothing, but they think this is much more Yeah. bigger for them and uh, find a way. Vindal from inside his 10, across the 20 to 25, tripped up. Gets out to about the 20 Vindal, yard line. I believe that was Eli Polnath. Ryan Vindal tripped him up. The yeah, I mean, I think any anybody can look at the, the results of these two teams and say these are two very evenly matched teams. Like it would. You could make an argument that either team was better before this game, and you can't make that argument for one of these teams right now. No, not even not even close right now. Um, and this one is going to throw it up, Ryan. And oh, they're going to talk about it. He's trying to come back, and he's not able to. That's pretty clearly pass interference, right? Yeah, if there's contact, he's not seeing the ball. It's, it's definitely on the defender to avoid that contact. And yeah, he's trying to come back to the ball. He's being shielded. Yeah. Yeah, and, and here's one, I mean, even if, I don't know if, if she was, uh, she, she wants to, she's used to, she's used to ref in college where she wants to spot at the spot there. But, uh, yeah, even if they want to try and talk them out of that one, when it's 33-7 in Baldwin, you don't talk them out of that penalty. And the penalty for pass interference is a 15-yard 15-yard penalty in high school. No reason to not keep doing that, right? And that's that's the thing again. We, we said Gavin's being blanketed by by Mason Sullivan. Doesn't mean you can't look his way, but you gotta find it. Gotta find another guy with another weapon. We have plenty of them. Here's Gavin on a quick pass. He gets going. Much needed first down. They are few and far between for the Blackhawk offense tonight. Tackle by Jaden Boyce. Just his third. Completion, 3 for 11, 43 yards, one interception. Cal's a cone for no touchdowns, which he, is, he had a half last game where he didn't have a touchdown. But we got to work on our little toss there, gentlemen. 
Shout out to the seventh grade football boys. Beat Amory last night. Had three different guys throw touchdown passes. So I've I've been ref for a long time, but I haven't noticed. I guess. Sal does have his fourth reception there. It'll be good for eight yards. So their their linesmen, their head linesmen, switch sides at halftime. Gain of eight yards Maybe more crews do that, I guess. I didn't, I didn't never notice that before. Like it went from one side to the other? Yeah, so... First down. First down, Cal. It's his, that's his biggest rush there. of the game. It's be five, six yards inside the 35, as we said before. It's must-score possessions now for the Blackhawks, trailing by four scores. Gain on the play to the 33-yard line. It's a first and 10 for the Blackhawks. That was also what was big about that two-point conversion is it made a four-score game. It was 24 at the time. That's why I thought they would go for one there. Cal Smith, the ball carrier. Nope. 10 carries, 30 yards for Cal. You want to get another snap off carry. here. I think they'll easily get at least one more. Hopefully only one more because that means it's completed. Pump fake. No deep. And there he is. They're talking about the defense there and he, that being said, they even still still shade the safety over to him. Good defense, good coverage, good ball. Gavin almost came down with it, but see, it would be a lot of fun to watch those two go against each other on the hardwood. All right, we'll we'll try and talk Gavin into playing basketball next year or this year. Both years. Yeah. Yeah. Third down and 11 from the 34. I think if he had his way, he'd probably play both. And here's another wrinkle we talk about wrinkles. He's in the backfield oh, right now. he's in the backfield? Try and oh. see. Oh, and he didn't even look. Fritz over the middle, down to the 15. So now, that's, well, that's you know, you talk about coaching. Like why, why is Gavin in the backfield? Well, now suddenly Mace and Sullivan, their best cornerback, likely not covering him. You know, we're, we're, we're trying to match him up on a linebacker or First who's, who's going to cover Sal if he comes out of the backfield. So we'll see if they continue yeah, that here quarter, as we flip over to the fourth quarter. Central Another third quarter dominated by St. Croix Central. They now lead 33-7. to A-Star Concrete Pumping is proud to be family owned and operated in Wisconsin. We pride ourselves on maintaining a high quality unique fleet and very knowledgeable staff to complete all projects. From smaller residential projects to large-scale commercial enterprises, A-Star Concrete Pumping has the equipment, staff, and experience to handle all of your concrete needs. Whether we're cooking the perfect butter burger to order or scooping up our freshest batch of the flavor of the day, we work hard to ensure you will always leave happy. We know you have a lot to do and many options to choose from, so we appreciate when you take the time to visit Culver's of Baldwin. Nielsen's Foods has been serving communities since 1903. We offer full service caribou, coffee, bakery, deli, and meat departments. We pride ourselves with our award winning Nielsen's Market Meats and our friendly staff. Nielsen's vision is to build a strong family of customers and employees by delivering superior service to our customers, offering employee growth opportunities, reinvesting in our stores, and serving in our communities. Fireham Langer is a CPA firm with offices in Baldwin, Ellsworth, and River Falls. At Fireham Langer, our clients are our top priority. We offer the skills and expertise of a large CPA firm combined with the personal attention and responsiveness of a smaller firm. When you partner with us, we take the time to get to know you, understand your goals, and build a lasting professional relationship. We invite you to turn to us at Firehelm Langer for bookkeeping services, payroll services, financial projections, tax preparation, tax planning, and all of your accounting and tax needs. Were you YMCA in it during the break? No. You weren't doing any dancing? Nope. Carl? Carl's usually dancing. Carl, Carl's singing over. He's got his karaoke going. Warm up his voice. Carl, Carl just warms up during the game for the dancing after the game. That's yes. that's the carol. The way. The First and ten from the sixteen. Quick pass, hush. Try and get the edge. Nice block. Nice block. Colton hush. Dive in. Find the pylon. Find the end zone. Nice block, Colin Fritz. Colton hush into the end zone. We said they. Need to have four possessions. They need to score all of them. That's the first one. Cut the lead, 33 to 13. And you know what I appreciate? Being down four possessions and scoring a fourth quarter touchdown. You didn't see the flashing lights. Oh. And go for two here. Two point conversion attempt coming up. 
Holdorf, he's gonna, or, yeah, Holdorf. Yeah. Almost untouched in the end zone for that two point conversion. So, eight seconds into the fourth quarter, the Blackhawks do strike. 33 15. All right, so, at what point too, do we too have early. Time? Too early. Okay. I mean, you, you have held them on, de on, on defense wise this half. Um, your best, your best pant of scoring three more times right now is pin them deep, get a three, get a three and out, get the ball right around midfield, strike quick. Okay. The market is changing. Take advantage of our combined 30 plus years of experience to guide you through it. Call Don at 715-684-9541 or Andrew at 715-928-0410 of Timmerman Realtors for all your realty needs. There he is. Carl is. Uh, this is a little CNC Music Factory. <laughs> Shout out to uh, early 90s hip hop. Hippity hoppity. <laughs> I remember this music video for some odd reason. Mostly black and white, I think. Or maybe that was just the TV I was watching it on. I don't know. I. I need to get myself in a rules book because I mean now I mean it's maybe it's just because of it's a potential yes, onside kick that we have three that. officials up here now. Two, but it is an onside. That's a and terrible onside Which they can return. I think it actually hit us hit first. One of our guys. So yeah. at that point, I mean, it's he always told us to jump on the ball, the ball but at that point, down. no harm can be done. Right. We, we touched it, it actually should be a flag. Yeah, it's a legal touch. I mean, it's not a punt, so it's not like... Should be a flag for an illegal touching, but then they would decline it. Yeah, that's an interesting... Uh, it looked like it touched him, but... Yeah, it was not well kicked. It wasn't well uh, prepared for. I mean, you got to get by the ball and go block somebody. Because then if the ball continues to roll, you have a chance to cover it. Instead, everybody watches it, doesn't really do anything. The other thing you do might do by that is, is now you put them in potential four-down territory. Panthers, first and ten. Keeps. Gonna get maybe a yard is all. So his pace is slowing down. His pace is slowing down. He had 86 yards after nine carries. He now has 86 yards after 15 carries. But yeah, it does. It puts certainly puts the Hawks in uh, in worse position because getting one or two yards on on four plays, especially when you're not surprising anyone there on onside. It, it, it's you're gonna hope for to get one onside here if you're gonna come back. And here we talked about this a gap being wide open. And we have three technique D linemen and Western no one with the center. It's block out. You, if your guard can block out, your guard can block out. It's the center. It's a huge the center leading the quarterback for four or five. I mean, you, you, right now, if you're, if you're central, you'll take. Oh, then never mind. They will be more even farther. Um, you'll take that on every 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 snap. And they might just do it again right here. There's no, there's no, there's no, middle, there's middle, even a mic. There's no middle linebacker even. Second man through. Cal Smith wraps him up, and so now the there it is. Cal Third, the three downs to get eight yards. If they're on the, third, the right side here, line. anywhere on the right side of this field right now, they're punting. Right. But fourth he's and two fourth. from, and one from the, the 32, 33 yard line. line. Yeah, you gotta you gotta bring a guy uh, over top the ball, and, and they do. But we still no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. Sauer's over top the ball. I don't, I don't think he got it. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, spot did. is. Left the ball carrier. That's first down. That's a fourth and full yard, if not two, and. Gain of two yards in the carry. He almost stands up to run it. And That's good for his gets first it. and ten for St. Croix Central. Clock will run inside 10. That's a 31 at Baldwin Woodrow. So you think with every every set of downs they get, 
is at least about a minute and a half of game clock. So every, every, every time they get a first down, it's a it's a minimal minute and a half that's chipping away. So and they could start clocking it too if they so chose. And they have chosen to do so. So he'll wait till the back judge puts her hand up. Go through the motions. Second man through. And he's going to find the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. 9.04 to go. Fisher goes in. The goes in. The There's that lightning we talked about. And up by 24. Here's a big extra point here. It's still a three possession game. That makes it 39 to 15. I think they do recognize it this time, and they do have the. No, they don't. They're not kicking it. Hey there. He's, he's kicked it well. He's kicked it well all year. I, you make this a four score game and essentially put the nail on the coffin here. And Snaps good, spot down, and the kick is up, and there are 40 points on the board by Central. And the kick is good. And let's see, yep, 40 to 15, St. Clair Central leading. The quarter, so they answer the Blackhawk touchdown with down. one of their own. Precision Truck Service is a full service heavy truck and trailer repair shop located in Baldwin and offering all types of general repair for heavy truck and trailer, diesel, mobile service, alignments, computer diagnostics, welding, fabrication, and sandblasting. As a Michelin heavy truck tire dealer, we offer best in pricing on Michelin, BFG, and Unirail tire brands, balancing, and installation. Give us a call at 715-760-0768 or stop in. We are located conveniently on the north side of Baldwin under the water tower. Strikers Lanes and Sports Bar at 780 Cedar Street in Baldwin offers something for everyone. If you are interested in the competition and camaraderie of a team, come join one of the bowling leagues offering men, women, couples, seniors, and youth leagues that run from September through April. Reserve an open bowling time for family, friends, work, or birthday parties. When you get hungry or thirsty from watching all the bowling fun, excuse me, hunger or thirsty from all the bowling fun or while watching the big games on the mini big screen TVs, Strikers Sports Bar is sure to satisfy. Check out our menu and weekly food and drink specials at strikerslanes.com. Buckle the kickoff for St. Croix Central. I know we have a lot of fans here for the kids cheering and the band, but that section's kind of slowly, the casual fans are kind of making their way to the exits as well. The end off from the 20. It's out there with the 35. On the punt return, kickoff return. Where the Blackhawks will take over. Reckon on the tackle. Are we getting some updates from other scores around the around these parts? I think my phone's almost dead, so I, I put her away. What about Werner? What's Werner doing over there? Ah, he's pretending to be important. Blackhawks will begin with a first and ten Blackhawks from the 35. Trailing by 25. That was where this rivalry, it's nothing Going cheap, deep. nothing cheap either way. Fritz overthrows him, underthrows Gavin. Think, I'm pretty sure that was intended for Fritz. Yeah. yeah, things things become different as a quarterback when you're under pressure. Mm -hmm. When you can't get comfortable. Brings up second and ten from the 35. And he's still looking downfield, but you 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 just can't set your feet. You can't make the throws that you're... How did we lose three yards there? Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Still no grade Monikin on offense. He's been playing defense, but looks like he's been... Brody Everts, the uh, sophomore, has been playing in the Z position. Or the X position, I guess, is what that Johansson. is. Johansson. Up the Johansson middle, he gets the yard. The box area. Third and nine for the Blackhawks. Schweitzer on the tackle. Well, you know what we have to look forward to tomorrow, Nick Pack? Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow, um, if you're a Gopher fan, I don't think it's going to be this close. I'm not looking forward to the Gophers. <laughs> okay. Draw uh, here. 
Do uh, baseball start tomorrow? You betcha. Twinkies. They played well. They pitched. They pitched well. It's the big difference there. You know, years past when they lose. I think it's 18 straight. I heard that number. Yeah, quite, I've, quite a I've, bit. I've actually. <laughs> I'm trying to purge that number completely from my mind. But the, the difference the, the Twins roster this year is, is years past they've always put up the numbers. You know, the one year they set the record for home runs. What wins in postseason is pitching. pitching. And they always get the postseason they can't score. Well, they don't really scored much this postseason, five runs total. But when you only allow one run in two games, there like your chances. Under pressure again. Cal Smith on the sack. brought down. The Blackhawks turn the ball over on downs to the Panthers. And this is where it might just get ugly. Yeah, so they'll open the uh, ALDS at Houston tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. 7? No, I think it's 3, 7 o'clock on Sunday. I don't even know any of the times there is notes. Three o'clock on Tuesday. I'm debating if I want to go to the game or not. I uh, will be coaching football, so I will not be going. Fisher up the middle. Fisher and I, I will say this: I mean, uh, when up in Rice Lake, I, I do, I do feel that the Blackhawks were the better team. I, I do feel that we beat ourselves up in Rice Lake. Yep. Uh, we beat ourselves with turnovers. We beat ourselves with, with penalties. Yep. And Rice Lake took advantage, and Rice Lake won the game. Yep. I do think this was not a game tonight much really. I mean this is, this has been domination. Um, we've had essentially one drive yep. on offense. Um, defensively for the most part they've they've had their way. Yeah. Nothing overly big plays. A lot of seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, seven. I ten. mean the the reality is they have a uh, seventy eight 86 and 91 yard rusher. Mm -hmm. Fisher. Getting close to the first down. Yeah, they've been the, the much the much better team. Do have a little life. Third and one from the 21. Yeah, let's let's give me some scores. Three, three other middle border games going on. We had a uh, big one in Ellsworth tonight, I think. We got Prescott and Ellsworth both with two wins. You know, needing two more wins to secure your place in the playoffs. And you had uh, Somerset. And the to touchdown. Bounces off into the end zone. And it's going to be 46 to 15. News bomb. Somerset goes to uh, Amory tonight, and Osceola is in Rice Lake. And there's a big game about 10 miles north of here, a little bit west. I'd like to know if someone can get a score on the uh, Battle for the Big Rivers Conference. Hudson traveled to New Richmond. Oh, that's a big one. Yep. Hudson one loss in preseason, if you will. That was a Monster kick. And it was. Extra point kick is good. Extra point is good. More St. Croix Central. 50 remaining in the fourth. 47, 15. 47, Baldwin Woodville 15. I didn't have this one on the bingo card. No. No. The, and it's, there's no good way to lose. And <laughs> this is, the best thing you can do is just wipe it clean. You know, a lot different from, from last year. We talked about the overtime loss last year and, and the heartbreak that comes with that. And there wasn't much of a... Amory is drilling Somerset. Really? We saw that last year, too. Did, wasn't it, was it Amory that beat him last year, too? To, I don't know. To, to I, knock him out of the playoffs? Or was it... I think it's Ellsworth, 32-20 over Prescott. Ellsworth, 32-20 over Prescott. Tell, get Carl's attention. Buckle to kick off. Amory. <laughs> Carl. Carl had that one. I did not. From the 15. I believe it's Hush. 
Go across the 35. So now, and that, that, so that being said, I mean, eight, you look at this Blackhawk team, they're going to travel to Amory next week um, to right the ship, and you have Amory looking at, well, hey, if a 3 win team can make the playoffs, what about us? Why couldn't they? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if they can continue to hang on tonight against Somerset and get their second win, and, those are uh, dangerous. Rice Lake 48. Osceola at 13. Okay, keep finding them, Zach. I asked for one more now. Find, find New Richmond. Coach Adam calls Pat Simonez. Wish them good luck. They brought the jug home. They beat River Falls this year. They play, I did they, see they, that they one, they, yeah. play, they play for a... Haldorf, he's oh. going to find some room. Dayton Haldorf, 40, 30, Don't get caught. 20, he's going to get caught. Brought down at about 10. Play. Nice run, Dayton Haldorf. Tackled at right around the 10-yard line of St. Paris Central. That was Sam Fisher. 52-yard run Fisher there. Made the touchdown saving tackle for St. Paris Central. Nice to see Dayton get in again. He's only got one touchdown on the year. First down goal to go from inside the 10. On cue, here comes Jackson Johansson back in. Gavin on the quick pass. Does make the first guy miss. Stays on his feet, fighting for more. Gavin Sell on the pass reception. Credit a couple yards for Sell. Second and goal from the six. Five minutes to go here. Fourth quarter of the game. That's Ben St. Croix Central from the kickoff. The opening kickoff. The opening drive, 80 yards. All runs. It's been that way the whole game. Jackson Johansson. Just got to hit with one more touchdown this season, though. No quit yet. Keep on playing. Play till zeros. Jackson Johansson, 47-21. And now is when you can kind of dust off some of those plays. You might be saving up for the playoffs and and because I try out some different formations. Something oh, oh. loose his feet there. Jackson Johansson stopped the on the two period. point. Conversion attempt and with 442 to go in the game. It remains 47 21, St. Croix Central. You want to make a plug for your uh, basketball clinic here? Nick? Yeah, we've, we've had a few people sign up already. So, uh, November 4th, it'll be here in Baldwin again. Um, it does almost feel like basketball weather now. Um, we we are third third year in a row. We got a little basketball camp down here at the high school. Uh, we usually start about 7:30 or so and uh, do a little go over a couple of rules, go on the court where you're gonna stand, and then we have uh, some eighth grade, some very good eighth grade teams coming in. And I think I think it's twenty five dollars if you register before the 15th, which you get a you get a whistle and you get a lanyard and you get food all day. Um, we're not making any money off of it. Um, you can purchase a shirt. If you want a shirt, we'll get you a shirt ordered so you have the right shirt to, to go ref games. And a lot of a lot of people ref a lot of games. I know Frank Stout. You yep. know, um, you, you see him refing a lot of games. He was at the camp, I think, our first year. Last year, I mentioned Keegan Ofsty was there. Um, he was doing varsity games last year. Marty Rollenhell was there last year. She does a great job, too. I know she, she's on a... Might be roughing some varsity here pretty soon. I know one of the refs down there has kind of got her name and information. And Hoping to get her involved as well. But if you're in the interest at all in refing, um, help the youth out. It is it is great. I know I talk about refs a lot. It, it's it's fun. It's a it's a brotherhood. You call it. You know I I know these people out here and, and it's fun. It's it's money. It's good exercise. Um, yeah, yeah, we do get yelled at more probably in that sport than any other. You know, this football, you're, you're away from everyone. Volleyball, you don't really yell at. Right. I hope that changes. I really do. Because um, ultimately the kids the kids need need officials out there. 
And so if you're at all interested, get a hold of myself or Jeremy. Email, text, uh, find a way to mention something to Jeremy. Um, if you can't afford the twenty-five dollars, let me know. I can. I can I, you, you guarantee. You, you're guaranteed at least a game Second, from these three. athletic directors all in the area. The get, we we reach out to them and they give them your name and and tell them, hey, you know, Jeremy Nygaard was here. He's capable of refing this, these levels. Right. Okay. And they turn around, and send emails right to them. When can you ref? How, you know, how how much can you? So November fourth, and uh oh, this is going to be another. Touchdown on the board, Noah Nussbaum. Nussbaum, the ball carrier, takes it in for a 47-yard Suddenly, this is uh, a track team. meet here, or, sorry, cross-country meet. <laughs> have it there, I guess. No, forget who's on the camera sometimes. I'd try and plug Zach into come reffing, but then he wouldn't have a camera guy for... That's true. I mean, he could do middle school. He could do C squad. You know, you're in the, you're gonna be there anyway. Go. I know that's what you talked about. You and uh, Jordan, and Jordan yeah. talked about. You know, we're gonna be at the school. Why not go go ref the C squad game? Make. You know, I think C squad. I think Mr. Sell's playing like, playing like two hundred dollars now for C squad. I feel like I'll, it's I'll, probably. I just want to know if he's actually gonna watch this back. And, and <laughs> of course, he's not gonna watch this back. Remember, he's, he's, he's done watching this by now. But no, seriously, I, I want to say it's you know anywhere from 50, 60, 60 bucks, and that's if you take the game a year in advance. We there's email chains that come out, um, especially with with winter time. You know, games are getting changed because of weather right. and stuff. There's there's people that are paying. There's people that are paying 70, 80, 90 dollars for for JV for lower level games. Some of them are even giving mileage. I'm like, wow. Um, bottom of the junior high games, you can go to two games. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's good money, good exercise. Stay involved. Right. I, I, I was talking to you pregame game that it is a female that's jogging across in the 40. You know, she she ref Division One basketball. Peyton Buckle to kick off for the Panthers. Ref a few games with her when she stoops down to my level. I was gonna say, does she get tired of tired of dragging you yes, along? Yeah. No. Oh. Kick off bobbled by Hush at the 15. You're gonna see nothing but white. Makes a few of them miss though. But he oh, tackled he shy of the 25 yard line. This has been the longest fourth quarter in the yeah. history of the world. Yeah, a lot of, lot of scores and stops the clock and five change of possessions. And five fourth quarter touchdowns. I'll keep plugging the basketball. I mean, if you're young, you go to these tournaments and you can make, what, $180, $200 yeah. on, for a Saturday morning? Yeah, I mean, you could go do some other stuff. I remember doing a, a Saturday in Rice Lake in college where... I feel like I did probably nine or ten games. Yeah, I used to come when I was at Southwest State in Marshall. They'd come down there. It'd be a Friday night, sat all day Saturday, Sunday till about like four. And I'd come out with like five hundred bucks or something yeah. like that. And I'm like, oh, there's my rent for the next three months. You know, you're living with six guys in college. And, but first and ten from their own forty-two. And then, especially if you're younger, there's you know again we've we've had we've had Cole Tappy. I mean, there's, there's younger p officials that you start at the right age. There's some that make a career out of it. Oh. I do know a lot of full-time officials. But that is their job. Tackle by Sam Fisher. If you can't play, you coach. If you can't coach, you ref. Is that how and it if goes? You can't ref you, if you spectate. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. And, and, and they do it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do miss coaching. It's been. You know, just talk about just uh, ooh, a little fumble, fumble on the ping dis pong disconnect ball. there. Did he fumble or did yeah, he just? I, I, I think he was. I think he tried. I think he wanted to give it, and I don't think Jackson was expecting it. Oh, sorry, it wasn't Jackson. It must have been, must have been Holdorf. 
Loss of a yard in the carry. Brings up third and two from the 50. Third down, just two and a half minutes to go for Blackhawks here. Hopefully not their last playoff game at home, yeah, or last home game, game rather. Here. Still, I still like their chances if they can go into Amory next week and Brady end the season seven and, seven and two. I do like their chances of, of hosting no a first round game. Right. Um, depends on the, how the cards play out, they could end up as high as a two seed even right. behind these St. Croix Central Panthers. Oh, and they had the first down if they throw it to Evert, so it was a fourth and three falls incomplete, and with a minute 55 to go, the Panthers will take over. And so how many, they can't just kneel the ball three times at this point, could they? So by the time when they, when they set it, it's 25 seconds. So you figure five seconds to set it or so, that's 30. So just over 30 seconds per snap. So no. So First and ten for no. Field for the and eight yards on first down. We'll see if they take that. I would assume you take that. Yeah, right? let the clock run. Or is it it trying to get Stanky, our the ball carrier. shuffling in some on the field. some players and something get off in time. This is one of it, that it hurts, but as soon as that hits zero, you got to be thinking Amory, right? I mean, or not, maybe not that fast. Sleep on it. Sleep on it. Watch the film. Watch a little bit of it. The only reason you're watching it is because you're okay, you're hoping to make the, the, the three mile trip west in in let's see, one, two, three, four weeks, would that be? And level that be level three yeah, potentially level three. First and five from the forty five. They they took the penalty. And the reason for that is because it does it does wind the clock. So now you could have taken a knee. It could have ran 25 off, and but on the flip side, why not? We got we got I'm not gonna call it JVs. We got second stringers, if you will, or, or reserves, or whatever word you want to use for them out there. Let them have a few snaps, and and, and it's always a thing of one. Oh, are they running it up on them? Well, no. They're letting kids play that don't normally play, and right. If you don't like it, stop them. That's what I was, I was said, you know, and you see it a lot of times, you know, when it's basketball too, they like, oh, team, they're running up. Well, I don't know any coach that's going to coach their kids not to score. Hey, don't right. score. <laughs> don't make that layup. Don't play defense. Yeah, because, I mean, that's... I mean, you want him to you want him to just stop playing. You want to yeah. you know that's, that's get the when ball just, happen too. Yeah. just hold it and then take a ten second call and roll it back. I mean that's. I mean these kids the these kids work hard in practice. Right. They're a lot of times they're running the scout team and they're getting beat up by by usually older, bigger, faster people and they got a chance to go out and hey get a first down on Friday night in front of a lot more fans are used to on Monday night. Right. Unfortunately, that was right before 25. I think that they might just look the other way and say, don't have to snap it. With that, again, um, the opening kickoff went in the end zone, and then it was 80 yards to the end zone for St. Croix Central, and it was all St. Croix Central from there as they take this one controllably. 54, Baldwin. 21 and hopefully for Baldwin we will see them again. Thanks for joining us tonight for Nick Pack and Zach Ambrose. I'm Jeremy Nygaard. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. So long. Next week the Blackhawks.